Hey, this is Rob at Eco Panels of Tennessee, and uh, we, we had some of you all uh, sent us questions, uh, or, or you sent us suggestions for things that we could make videos about, and we really appreciate that. If you'd like to send us some more, just leave those in the comments below. Um, I don't always know what questions you'll have ahead of time, uh, so if you have something, let us know. We'll, we'll make a video about it, so thanks for the suggestion. So one of the questions that we got uh, when we put out the request is, well, how do you handle a, a two-story home, meaning like a full two-story? So you've got uh, a lower floor with, say, eight, nine, or ten-foot walls. You've got a second floor system. And then you've got a full upstairs, not, not like a story and a half house, but like a full two story. How are those connections made? So um, first of all, we do that a lot. That's no problem. Uh, if it's noted on your blueprints, um, you know, we, we can make that happen with the panels. Uh, it's not super difficult, but there are a couple of pieces of information that we need. Um, we need to know how tall are the lower walls, how tall are the upper walls, and then what we really need to know is how deep is the floor system that you're using? Are you using floor trusses? Are you using eye joists? Is this conventionally framed with like two by tens or two by twelves? So that we can make sure that this all jives out correctly. So we're going to flash some details on the screen. Uh, one of these details shows a floor truss system being used that is uh, interior to the wall. So in other words, this is, uh, it hangs on the lower floor wall. So what you have to keep in mind on that is, in order to make this come out right, the math, if you want to have 10, uh, excuse me, if you want to have like an eight foot ceilings downstairs, then that lower row of panels might be nine foot or even 10 foot, depending on the depth of your floor trusses to make sure that your ceiling height stays the same. You follow me on that? Um, another way to do it is just to put up the lower floor level and then set the second floor framing system atop the lower floor level and then put the second floor panels atop that floor system. Now that leaves a gap of however thick your floor system is that does not have a set panel in it which is fine, you can insulate that uh, conventionally. Remember, it's gonna be sealed up from the top and the lower with your ceiling, but you would wanna insulate that space if you don't hang the interior joist. We can work with you on either method. I'm happy to discuss that with you. Um, see what's on your plan, see if you like that. We can talk about the options. Um, we, we, like to, um, we like to try to keep that envelope of that house as tight as possible. So. I'll be glad to offer some suggestions and, and maybe run pricing a couple different ways on the panels to see what's best for you, your budget, and what you want to accomplish with your home. Um, some of these details are also in our assembly manual. If you'd like to uh, shoot me an email or give us a call, uh, we'll be happy to send that out to you as well. Uh, we're going to put these details on the screen where you can kind of see them uh, here. But if you have any questions or you want to see more details or other details about how this is done, please reach out to us. Thanks again for the suggestions. Tell us more.